Hey there, and welcome to the Science Olympiad meeting recap for this week. Um, it's going to be kind of a quick one because uh, we're going into Christmas break here. This is our last meeting before Christmas break. Um, so a couple of things you're going to see in the email after I do this is there's going to be a Google form for the anatomy and physiology uh, event coming up in January after break. And also, sidebar, me and Mr. Ziesmer are creating a chess club. So I'm going to speak a little bit about that um, to see if you're interested. So anyways, uh, topics today we're going to cover uh, how was the Boiseville satellite. Uh, the weather showdown is tonight, so I'll kind of gloss over that because you've probably already um, done that by the time you watch this. Uh, anatomy and physiology and then this chess club thing. So um, yeah, uh, basically we did a couple satellites. We did one in November and we just did one in December. We're going to take a break now that it's going into Christmas break. And uh, we probably won't get into another satellite event until at least February, just because I don't want to shove one in uh, January uh, during finals week and things like that. It just seems like a busy month. So um, how are we doing the one we just finished for Boiseville? Kind of middle of the pack. It's really hard to compare to the one we did before because with the invite that just happened, um, it was kind of open to like lots of states. So there were like 60 teams, uh, you know, about half of which weren't from Wisconsin. And so they ranged from like California, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Illinois, Georgia, New York, Minnesota, Nebraska, Washington, Kansas, Kentucky, New Jersey. Um, and so like a lot of those teams did well because um, like, you know, for instance, some of those teams in California are super competitive and always win gold and everything. So, uh, so our numbers for this are a little hard to interpret. Um, so I wouldn't put too much stock in it, but if you're interested, that's how we placed for those people that did those events. Um, so mostly middle of the pack most times, which is, you know, it's all right. But I put this picture of this guy down here. Cause like, I don't really know how to interpret that because it was open to like 14 other states. So, um, What's happening tonight is the weather STEM showdown. So um, we'll see how people do on that event. It's at 6.30 PM this Thursday, December 17th. Uh, I already signed people up for that ages ago. There's resources in the folder about all that, but I'm going to gloss over that because you guys already probably know about it. The next STEM showdown coming up is the one on anatomy and physiology. <clears throat> so I know a lot of people are interested in that. Uh, we always have a lot of people. Um, from our Project Lead the Way program that are into anatomy and physiology. So let me know. I'm going to send you the link for this form. Please click that. Uh, click yes if you're interested. I'll buy you a ticket. This one is until January 28th at 6.30 p.m. So we got some time. Um, so it's going to be after break. But that's kind of the next thing on our radar. There is an invite at Slinger, though I'm not sure it's a satellite anyway, so I'm not sure we can do it. It's in January, but again, I kind of don't really want to do that because January is like a busy month to begin with, with the end of semester, exam week, the beginning of second semester, coming back from break. Uh, it just doesn't seem feasible to do that. So I think I'm going to not sign up for that one. There's another one in February we could maybe do, but again, I got to make sure that's a satellite. Otherwise, definitely looking at one in March as another invite, either Menominee or Marquette in March 13th or March 20th. Um, We'll see. Yeah, we'll sign up for one of those as practice, probably. Um, as we get closer, I'll mention more about that stuff. Uh, and then state is probably going to be sometime in April or May, if I had to guess. So we automatically qualify for that this year. So there's nothing to worry about there. And just a reminder, at the actual invites is all of these events. So, um, you know, if you're still chipping away at getting better at some of these events, um, keep in mind that they do happen at this type of event called the satellite, whereas... The thing coming up in January is just the anatomy physiology event. So again, there's a form for that. Oh my God, click in, fill it out. Yes, buy me a ticket. No, don't buy me a ticket. Either way, just fill it out. Other thing I'm going to bother you about is the fact that me and Mr. Ziesmer are creating a chess club. So chess is a cool board game. It's been around for like a thousand years. Um, it's recently become more popular because there was like a popular show on Netflix about it. So we decided this is probably a good time to try and make a team, even though it's the middle of the coronavirus. So another link that I'm going to send you is basically like chess club, 
do you want to join it? And I've had a lot of people like fill this form out. Um, basically, if you don't know how to play chess, this is the place for you. If, if you want to play your friends in chess, this is the place for you. And since this is coronavirus, how this is going to work as we run it this year is we're probably not going to have like in-person chess meetings where everybody's touching chess boards and pieces. That's just probably a bad idea. Uh, what we are going to do is try to set you guys up with online accounts through chess.com. If you've never heard about it, it's a pretty cool website. Um, and it's really awesome because if you've ever played chess, sometimes you need like 30 minutes to play a game and that's like a lot of time to focus. But if you play through chess.com, like I am playing Mr. Zeesmer right now, you can one, just play your friends so you don't have to play random people. And two, you can set it up so that you only really have to make one move you don't have to play it all at once. The computer will save the game. You make one move. So I just moved my bishop recently, and now I'm waiting for Mr. Zeesmer to make his move, and it's going to save the game until that happens. He has three days to make that move. So how this works in reality is usually you have your smartphone, and you're just like, oh, it's my turn to make a move. Make a move. And then you don't have to worry about it for, like, hours or days. And then after they make a move, you'll get a little notification. It'll be like, oh, okay, I'm going to make another move. It only takes, like, three seconds of time you know in your head there per move um so it's kind of nice it's it fits with a busy lifestyle like i have two kids and i still play chess on this website because i can take five seconds every once in a while and move a piece um it also doesn't allow you to make the wrong moves so that's cool so you can't even screw it up if you're learning this is a great way to learn they even have tutorials um we're going to set up a club and we're going to teach you how to do this and show you the features of this website so if you are at all interested in chess club or you know how to play or you want to learn how to play, oh my God, click yes on this survey. Um, and we will go from there. Probably in like mid January, we'll start trying to have a meeting or two for that once every couple of weeks virtually for, you know, half hour or something. So anyway, if you're like, oh my God, chess, I'm just really not that into it. Well then your assignment even being on the Science Olympiad team, is to watch this awesome show called Queen's Gambit. Um, it's on Netflix. It was like one of the most popular shows for a couple of weeks last month. Um, it's only like seven episodes and you're going into Christmas break. You should totally binge watch this show. It's about it's a female lead character. She's awesome. Super conflicted, kind of flawed. Um, and she tries to become like chess champion of the world. Um, great show. If, you knew, if you've watched it, you probably liked it. Um, so, uh, yeah, and if you're, like, not into chess after that, like, I don't know what to do because it's pretty awesome. So one of the reasons we're forming the club is because this show is popular right now. There's no better time than right now to set up a club. So anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Just going to send you two links for these forms. Go ahead and fill them out. Otherwise, like, oh, my God, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, and I will see you sometime after break in the next video.